Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I am back with another video. So, um, in this video, we'll do a review of the new episode of She-Hulk. The number will be down below. It's entitled, um, Mean Green and Pouring Straight from These Jeans. Uh, I hope I got that right. First of all, the title's hilarious. Uh, second of all, um, it, <laughs> it deals with a simple case of copyright infringement and or trademark infringement. Um, so one of the things that Jennifer did not want to ever be when she got these abilities was a superhero. Therefore, she did not want to have her own name. Uh, that's all part of it is you have your own name. And so what ended up happening was she never trademarked her name or she yeah so back in see episode one towards the end like like the middle part of it we were introduced to a woman called um uh titanium or yeah t titanium well she ended up trademarking the name she hulk and people identified the superhero with the product which is probably the only reason the woman was making any money. So, <laughs> I got a film we're going to see. We have not seen the last of this woman. So, what ends up happening is because the lawsuit makes the law firm that Jennifer Walters is connected with look bad, she has to countersue this woman. And she cannot represent herself she has to get a fellow attorney to represent her. So meanwhile, on the side of this, her friend and this guy that she's to work with, um, he knows someone who makes uh, very specialized clothing. And what I mean by specialized um, clothing is clothing that you cannot possibly get anywhere in the world. He deals with he basically his clientele is very exclusive and what i and from what i get from the props they used in this scene the clientele that he deals with are people with superhuman abilities metahuman abilities or all right whatever you want to call it so finally they finally they convince him and they bring jennifer she brings jennifer with her that Jennifer needs an outfit that will expand and shrink so that when she is She-Hulk and when she's Jennifer Walters, she does not need to have two different um, outfits. So <laughs> what he sees basically that she is basically a superhero or she has these abilities He agrees to make her several suits that will shrink and expand as she goes. And this is actually, this, this was really cool because this is actually the first time that we have actually seen somebody who actually makes outfits for people that are non-Avengers or people that are superheroes. Generally, we would always think that um, you have like... Um, was it a shield that would make these outfits for these uh, the people they work with? But apparently there is someone out there that actually makes it for your, um, you know, for uh, certain kinds of clientele. And, of course, when he finds out that she is the cousin of the Hulk, who is an Avenger by blood, um, he immediately goes, okay, we'll do this. So, uh, so the thing about it is, is that the, uh, the only thing I did not like about it was that the courtroom scene could have been written by somebody that did, like, law and order, and I really, really hope at some point that they did bring somebody in that actually can do this. However, it was good enough to make me believe that Jennifer had a chance to win, and sure enough, it took her... Uh, the fact that she used, 
She-Hulk as a on a social like a dating app, which means she uses it in personal life for her to win the case. However, uh, Titania or yeah, Titania is it Titania or Titania? The two uh, is really mad because of course she lost. But it actually took her to to show herself sinking to an all new low for her to win and she was not happy you could tell that she was trying to disappear within the grains of the wood and of course of course you know <laughs> she's like you know her attorney's like you know basically she she's she's like she basically tells jennifer you can do a heck of a lot better which I will absolutely admit that she is correct on that. She could actually do a whole lot better than what she did. Um, so, what's really interesting, there's no post credit scene in this um, episode, not like the previous ones. But one thing that's really interesting is Jennifer is getting changed to try out the new outfits that this guy has created. And there's a hat box. And inside the hat box is Daredevil's mask, Daredevil's helmet, what he, what he wears. So in other words, one of his clients is Daredevil. And I'm like, oh my god, his client is Daredevil. Like, it was so awesome to see that, that helmet there. Um, and also means that his client is another attorney. So it is It is so awesome. And I really hope that we are going to see Daredevil uh, in the next um, uh, episode. Um, I think someone said, I don't know if he was somewhere in the first episode. I don't think he was because I, I watched the first episode. I, I, I didn't skip anything. I did watch it. So Daredevil wasn't in the first episode unless I missed him. But the fact that his helmet was in this episode is so fucking cool. I'm like, I was just going, ah! I was, oh, because I am a big Daredevil fan. I really like the character. And he's just awesome. Um, but yes, it was a lot better than last week's episode. Um, and uh, we're going to kind of see uh, what exactly is going to happen. I mean, how long do we go before we see Titania or, or Titanium, one of the two names, uh, you know. So, yeah, we, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, I give this uh, episode five stars. It was a heck of a lot better. Um I, I kind of understand why the why the attorney was acting the way she was towards her because attorneys are always like competing with each other and everything at least that's my impression of um, of it uh, of the whole thing so anyways um, yeah so I'm going to be spending all day today reading comic but well, not all day today but most of the day today reading comic books and um, I'm going to be doing reviews and posting them up. Uh, these are all going to be pre-recorded videos because somehow, someway, I always find myself either heading to work on my day off or just being too tired to do anything. Which <laughs> is my life in these days. So um, I will see you guys around. And until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.